Hi there, this is Sarah. Um, today we're going to look at the functional fit theory. So thank you to the students who have encouraged me to start making a couple of videos to go alongside your flip learning. One of the things that I've been asked about by email by a handful of students in the last week is the functional fit theory. So this is Talcott Parsons theory um, on how family, the shape and structure of the family has had a functional fit to fit the needs of the economy over the last couple of hundred years. So we're going to have a look at the theory, the key concepts that you need to be able to talk fluently about this theory, and then we will look at the evaluation and the limitations of this theory and the criticisms um, so that you're able to reach those AO3 marks and be able to um, critique the theory as well. But remember, before you want to be critiquing, you've got to be able to speak fluently using as much sociological language as possible about the theory and then analyse the impact of that theory before you move on to the criticisms, okay? And that's the way you're gonna get the analysis and evaluation marks and reach that top mark band at A-level. Okay, so functional fit theory. The key terms we're looking for here are geographical mobility, that's the big one. So Talcott Parsons' theory is that the family over the last 200 years post-industrialization and throughout the changes that have happened because of industrialization, that the family has undergone a functional fit where it's changed its shape to fit the needs of the economy. And one of the things that we need for a thriving economy is a workforce who are able to move around to where the work is. So we're going away from this agricultural extended family model where everyone's living in one house, the more people the better because all everyone, the children are economic assets. And we're moving to a more mobile and portable, small isolated nuclear family, parents and children or parents and child. So geographical mobility is what the family has needed to achieve, according to Talcott Parsons. And the functional fit theory is how the family has really fitted into that um, economic function that society needs it to have. So we've gone from an extended family to a nuclear family, and Talcott Parsons' argument is that historically this has been because families have needed to move around. And if you imagine trying to move your elderly parents, possibly your grandparents, your whole extended family, find somewhere to move to and find jobs for all of them in one location, that would be very challenging. Whereas if you are simply moving mum, dad, and two children to somewhere where one of those parents, is, and historically that would have been the man, um, is able to find the work that they need, to fulfill that economic function where they're able to bring resources into the to the family and be self-sufficient so they are fulfilling their economic function then they do need to be mobile enough and Talcott Parsons argument is that the nuclear family provides that mobility now Talcott Parsons very influential um, sociologist looks a lot at the historical looked a lot at the historical perspective of um, the family However, we have got two, lots of studies, but two particular studies that we can use in order to critique or attack this theory. So one of them is Laslett. So Laslett's church records, um, at, so he used some secondary data, and these church records actually showed that only 10% um, of, fa of families had extended kin living in their household. And this is looking, you know, historically. So he's saying this idea of this extended family household was in fact a myth. And of course, one of our most well-known studies, Young and Wilmot, um, they looked at how the extended kin, actually that extended kin network is still really thriving in East London. And this was a, as recent as the 1970s. So that really attacked Parsons' idea that we've moved in this linear way away from the extended family, because actually Young and Wilmot studies found that the extended family was um, very much alive, at least in East London. One more evaluation that can be quite helpful if you're looking at the functional fit theory is that social change doesn't really happen in such a linear way. So Parsons has created this very simplistic model, this very linear and neat and tidy version of the family morphing from this extended network 
into um, the nuclear family. And a lot of sociologists would argue that the functional fit theory really, it ha it's never that neat and tidy. Social change rarely happens in such a linear way. It's usually, there's other factors. There, you know, change isn't quite so, um, so much in a straight line. So that's your evaluation there, that really, if we're more realistic, perhaps Talcott Parsons has oversimplified what's happened historically. So that's the functional fit theory. Any questions, please do post below. Um, or if you're, if you're one of my students, open a class discussion on Google Classroom. I can, I can input there and answer your questions, but also other students will have um, ways of breaking that down and answering your questions. So that's all from me until next time.